at this dude. What's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hey man, if you haven't already, then so make sure you are subscribed to the channel, smash the like button, click that bell while you're at it. So you can be a part of the post of the game family, best family on YouTube, and that's no cap, hands down. Hell. <laughs> Hey man, we got ourselves another Darman video today. Stepdad and birth dad go to war. What happens next is shocking. Hmm. Low key relatable. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, it's been a few years now, but you know, I've been in the position where, you know, let's just say I've been in this position before. <laughs> I'm gonna just leave it at that, man. But hey man, we're gonna do less talk and more reacting. Let's dive right into this video. Let go. How much longer till Kevin gets Welcome home from jail, Dad. Yeah, you said Kevin would be here at five. Dad, call him Dad, guys. And don't worry, I'm sure he'll be here soon. So, the, uh, looks like the daughter is calling her biological dad by his first name. Which means she probably looks at the stepdad as dad. Just a badass pulling up at a motorcycle. What was he in jail for again? Um, aggravated assault. Oh, okay. Well, well, well. Who are these two giants? I'm Liam. Are you sure? My son Liam was a baby. You're oh, he went to jail for a minute then, huh? Practically a grown man! <laughs> Good to meet you guys, son. And you must be Raquel. Man, I think you were three the last time I saw you. Come here, give Papa a hug. Right? <laughs> Junk. He's coming off kind of strong for kids that barely know him. Hello. Uh, oh, uh, this is my husband, Jeff. Okay, so they're married. Kevin, so good to meet you. I heard great things. Whoa. Men don't hug, pal. Yeah. I, I hug my homies all the time, okay? Oh, I want to say all the time. Let me pause real quick. <laughs> sure. Man, I'm starving. You got any food in here, Joe? Well, no, actually, I, okay. I'm sorry, guys. I wasn't expecting him to actually... And now he's stepping over boundaries. He's just welcoming, him, welcoming himself into the crib, bro. Oh, it's okay. I would not let that fly. I'm sorry. He seems like a nice guy. Hey, Kevin, do you want some hot tea? We got some Earl Grey, some English breakfast. Just walk on in. Yeah. Hey. Well, let's, uh... That would not fly with me. And this is a tattoo I got in the slammer. A rip -a do skip -a -dip -a -dip -a do Ah, dinner is served. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I've just never seen a man do a woman's job before. I mean, he's got the whole girly apron on and everything. <laughs> Bro's gotta chill, man. You just got out of prison, my boy. You gotta chill. <laughs> you just see, once again, that would not fly with me. If somebody, if I look, see, this is one of the reasons why I no longer will play stepdaddy role. Like, I just don't take disrespect for one. I'm not doing no stepdaddy duties again, bro. I'm sorry. I just have very, very bad experiences getting involved with a woman that has kids, bro. Nothing wrong, wrong with women having kids and being single on the market and stuff like that but it's just some it comes with a drama bro great he has an amazing cook he's a school counselor and he teaches yoga jack of all trades <laughs> yeah more like a jackie he does all the housewife stuff while your lawyer's salary carries you guys i'm sure <clears throat> he's very disrespectful so, to somebody that doesn't have to? nothing to his Liam? name Football, basketball, are you into boxing like your old man? None of those things, Kevin. Uh, oh, and he's calling his dad Kevin too by his first name. Dad. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Go on. I like painting, and I'm on the dance team. The dance team? Oh yeah, Liam is heavily into the arts. Mm -hmm. See all these flower paintings? Liam made them for us. Aren't they oh. beautiful? I've clearly been away too long. Figured Raquel would be the one into painting and dance, not Liam. No. I like video games. What's going on around here? Huh? Buddy 
times change. You're looking at a woman's role and a man's, oh, oh, I, how a man should be and how a woman should be. It's not like that, bro. This, I'm sorry, but like even my oldest son, he's into dance and video games and stuff like that. He is not into sports. He's not into football. He tried football. He's tried soccer. He's tried those things. That's not him. He likes to be in the Boy Scouts and he loves dancing. He's not the typical boy, you feel me? You got the woman's breadwinner, the man that does housework, the boy that dances, and the girl that plays video games. Everything's backwards. There's not a set way to things, bro. Hi, Nate. Here I come. Sorry, I'm just... Uh, Nate is the coolest name on planet Earth. Eating the... Not because my name is Nate, but, you know, I think it's a cool name. Right. Who's Nate? Oh, um... That's your boyfriend? Boyfriend? Raquel, you are way too young to have a boyfriend. Excuse me? This is not the time for you to play dad all of a sudden, my boy. You just got out of prison, bruh. See you? You heard me, and I can just tell he's in trouble. You're gonna stop talking to him now. You don't get to tell me what to do, Kevin. There we go. Don't get Calm mad at down. that part. You can't just come in here and tell them what to do. That part. You haven't seen them since they were babies. Well, they're my kids too, Joan. And I don't like how you and Mr. Apronman are raising them. Bro, get the fuck out of my crib, bro. I swear, I thought... Once again, I've dealt with some drama in my life, bro, when it came to uh, 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 the, the girl that I be talking or dating or whatever, having baby daddy drama, bro. I don't play with that no more, bro. If you got kids, cool, but I'm just, look, I, I don't deal with drama. I'm... You know what? I know what will sweeten the mood. Desserts. All right? No, I'm going to go to the store and I'll get some bread pudding. Jeff, forget that. Yeah, I'm that's... booting this dude out the crib. It's a good idea, Jeff. Why don't you just get out of here so I can spend time with my family? Take your time. Actually, honey, I'll go. It'll give you an opportunity to bond with Kevin. Yeah, to be honest, I would not leave my wife behind with somebody that just got out of prison, bro. You just never know what could take place. Especially when he has that type of mentality like he's the man of the house. Bro, you're not the man of the house. You don't even have a penny to your name, bro. You sure? Okay, well, just be careful driving. You know, there's a lot of crazy drivers out there. Okay, honey. So, uh, Kevin, what kind of things do you do? I need a cigarette. Bro, I would not let that fly. I'm sorry. And you just gonna put your shoes on the coffee what table? What channel is ESPN on? Um, I don't know. There are no channels anymore. ESPN's an app. You have to stream it. Uh, well, you know, I wonder where June is. She should be home by now. Dad? Can I go play video games? Yes. No. Liam, you already maxed out your screen time for today. You shouldn't even be on your phone. That's fine. You could play. Now that I'm here, you can just ask me, all right, son? Man, forget that, bro. He would have been booted out the crib. I don't play with ish like that, man. What happened here? The bully at school did it. Kyle. You let some kid do this to you? You should have knocked his jaw off. Dad says I shouldn't resort to violence. Oh, did he now? You teaching my boy this crap? Every man needs to learn how to defend himself. Look, I understand that, but I think words can be used just as- Words aren't as powerful as a right hook. Next time you see Kyle, I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do. What, did she forget her keys? Oh, the police at the door. Huh. I've been in situations like this before. Hey, officer. Uh, don't tell me she got in an accident. Bro. How's it going? Are you Joan Grant's husband? Yes. Is everything okay? Damn. No. Damn, bruh. Well, this was very unexpected in the video. I was not seeing this coming. I'm sorry. And I must, damn, I just spilt my tea on me, damn. And I'm assuming they go to war, according to the title, probably because the biological father that just got out of prison is going to feel like he has the right to his kids. Damn. Life 
Life is so fragile, man. You just never know when that day comes. Oh, he's texting another girl. Oh. Hey, that doesn't look like her kill. Why don't you mind your business, old man? Hey, is everything okay? No. I'm this is not the time and place for all of this. This is literally a funeral, bro. I'm gonna punch this kid's teeth in. What? Why? He's a good guy. I caught him looking at some other girl on his phone. Look, I don't know what you think you saw, but this is neither the time nor the place. Neither is looking at some other chick at his girlfriend's mom's funeral. I'm going to teach this kid a lesson. Look, you're making a scene. That's a quick way to get yourself behind bars again, my boy. Do I look like I care? I'm trying to protect my kids. Something you clearly can't do. You got no idea how to raise them, which is why I'm filing for full custody. You ain't going to win. Plus, the kids are not going to want to go with you. His ears must be burning. Here's my attorney now. Hey, Nate, I'm, I'm sorry about that, okay? No. Is he really taking us, Dad? Yeah. I don't want to go with him. Everything's going to be okay, all right? In circumstances like this, I'm pretty sure there is a way where even though he's not the biological dad, I'm sure he has some sort of rights to these kids. And on top of that, these kids don't want to go with their biological dad. Look, is he going to crumb, boy? Why don't we go pay him a visit? We should hang out Friday night. I'll see what Raquel wants to do. You okay? I just missed my mom. Sorry, I can't imagine how hard it is right now. But she wouldn't have let you stop dancing, right? Let me try. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start, Kyle. Me? I'm not doing anything. I'm just having fun. Now let's see if Girly Boy can catch. <laughs> stop it. I mean, I don't blame him for getting upset seeing his son get bullied on because if I see my son get bullied on too, I'm going to have a, a word or a talk with the kids. I want to bully my son and have a talk with the parents, but you got to make sure you approach approach it appropriately. You feel me? I for him. Catch the ball. Uh, leave him alone. No, I'm going to teach him a lesson. Hey, leave him alone. So, what you're just saying I should just let him take my vision pro whenever he wants? Yeah, that's exactly what he's saying. Because I'm the oldest, and what I say goes. No, what I'm saying is you two are brothers. You can find a healthy way to work this whole thing out. You remember the emotional regulation tools that I gave you to try when you get triggered? Yes. My fists. <laughs> No, Mikey, not your fist. Look, there's other ways that you can... Jeff, it's Liam. He's in trouble. Come on, Liam. Teach him a lesson right now. Man, you cannot... This is definitely inappropriate right here, bruh. You a grown-ass man. You cannot be holding up a kid like this. Don't be a whip, son. Give him what he deserves. Hey, what's going on here? Stay out of this, Jeff. We're having a father and son moment. Come on. One to the body, one to the head. Go on, Liam. Go. Leave Liam, Liam. Stop, 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 Liam. Liam, stop. Can we let him go? Thanks a lot. It's too late at this point. The cops should be already involved putting him in handcuffs at this point. Apron man. You just ruined an important lesson I'm trying to teach Liam about how to stand up for himself. And what would punching have proved? Nothing. In fact, it would make Liam look just as bad as the bully. Well, what have your wimpy tactics taught him, huh? 
how to get bullied every day. If I hadn't shown up when I did, he would have been pounded into the pavement again. <coughs> he needs to learn what I'm teaching Damn. him. Are you okay? He told me everything. Why and you, spilling? you're next on my list, buddy boy. Dude, what is your problem? That part. He's cheating on you, Raquel, with her. What? She's my best friend, and they're not cheating together. We're all cool. Mm. Young, come on. Let's Did go. you really like growl? Mm. That was like oh. a growl. Hey, at least I'm trying to protect them, Jeff. Which is more than you can say. Have you ever thought that maybe they don't need your protection? Maybe they just need your love? I mean, where's all this violence gonna take them? To jail? Like you? Hey, you know nothing about what I've been through, Jeff. So don't act like you do. I'm sorry. And I know that this is a really stressful situation for everyone. And I want the kids to be in your life, Kevin. Not like this. He's the judge granted you a hundred percent. How, bro? Ain't no way. Ain't no judge gonna prove that. No, well, it doesn't look like you have a say in the matter anymore. I just been granted full custody. I need a cigarette. Well, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't get full custody if the police was to get involved right now, and that's something my boy Jeff over here should have done. I would have been. I would have called nine one one on his ass. Bruh, I would have been like, look, he had this kid uh, pretty much hostage by his throat and arms and holding him. You feel me? That's a quick way to send that boy, that man's back to jail. Welcome home, kids. Well, this isn't going to last There's very long. nothing here. Well... I figured you could help decorate the place. It needs a girl's touch. No, thanks. We can do it. Say, so you want to go play some football? I was thinking I could take you down to my old boxing gym so you could learn how to fight. That way, if that bully ever tries anything, you could... Okay. But I like dancing and painting. Son... I don't know what Jeff has taught you, but you need to forget all that stuff. Boys don't do that. I'm hungry. There's no rules to it, my boy. Can you make us something to eat? Something to eat? Well, let's see. Doesn't look like you were very prepared to have kids, but How do you kids like pizza? Okay. that kid beat you up again? Liam, I told you to fight back! That's the problem! I did what you said, and then I got jumped by three guys! I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't, uh, realize. You alright, Raquel? No! Oh, I'm not alright, Kevin. Nate just broke up with me. He said he's tired of being harassed by you. Yeah, I don't blame Nate. <laughs> For real. Please. I'm sorry. I, I'll go talk to him if you want. No, you've done enough. Ever since you came back into our lives, everything has been going wrong. I miss mom and dad. Me too, Liam. Come on, let's just walk home. Guys, guys, come on. Don't be like that. Please, Jordan. I said I'm sorry. Jordan, I'm sorry what I'm through with you. What's going on there? I'm wondering if he's going to have an eye opener and fix his ways, or if he's going to end up having to learn the hard way and end up back in jail.
He's just having a hard time adjusting back to the free world. Sorry, what I'm doing with you. I wouldn't have to do this if you would just behave. Hey, what are you looking at, huh? Heck, mind your own business. She just asked for help. <laughs> there is no more minding my own business if you see somebody asking for help like that. Like this, look at me. If you would just behave, I told you you're listening to my rules under my roof. Do you understand that? Hey, do not get away from her. Plus, you got a death wish, too, huh? You can do whatever you want to me, just leave her alone. Something is about to pop off. ran like a coward. He got hit in the face one time and ran. You okay? Yeah, I, I am now. Thanks so much for standing up for me. Not a lot of people would do that. I feel like the biological dad is going to have, he's having like an eye opener in regards of what's going to be best for the kids. Obviously, the kids want to go back with him and not stay with the biological dad. I feel like he's going to make the right decision. Once again, I think it's just him having a hard time adjusting to the free world. Like, that's what it is. was going to kill her. What are you talking about? The reason why I went to jail. Did Joan never tell you? Well, then I'll tell you now. You see, mm. Joan was in the parking lot putting the groceries away when a guy came out of nowhere and tried to steal her purse. By the time I saw, he was really being rough with her, so I ran up and clocked the guy beside the head. I was so mad seeing him do that to Joan that I started wailing on him. And by the time the cop came, it looked like I was the aggressor. Yeah, but you wouldn't go to jail like that for defending your wife or girlfriend at the time. Like, because of my boxing training, my hands were considered lethal weapons. So I was sentenced to prison for 10 years. Damn. All for trying to protect my wife. So, so essentially, he did the right thing. He just got honestly wrongfully accused. But in the real world, y'all, if you are there protecting and defending somebody that's literally getting robbed like that, you would not get in trouble. No, not not one bit. So you see, especially if Joanne was to sit there and testify and was a witness to everything, she would tell the officer, like, look, he defended me, protected me. I was getting robbed. That's the reason why I went to jail. I was trying to protect Joan. Or Joan, Kevin, not I Joanne. No idea. You said before that the, the kids didn't need my protection. They needed my love. But protecting them is how I love them. It's all I know. But now I see it's not the right way. The kids need you, Jeff. They don't need me. Uh, I'll say you guys both work together for the kids. I'm starting to realize that my way is not right either. You gotta stick up for yourself, man. Maybe. I agree with the both of them. Once again, it's you got to have the appropriate way of approaching. Obviously, for him, he was overprotecting and also putting his hands on other kids. You can't do that. See what the kids need most. It's the both of us.
<laughs> well, I'm glad they worked things I out. I thought uh, men don't hug. All right, you ruined it. <laughs> I need to see. <laughs> hey, hey, remember that big surprise I was telling you guys about? Well, my <laughs> kids. He's got the apron on now. I was schooled today. You're cooking? I thought you said real men don't cook. Well, times change. That part? Uh, Nate was coming over. I invited him, but I didn't know you were going to be here. Oh, I didn't know you guys got back together. Well, that's okay. I can throw another patty on the grill. Kyle, you okay? <gasps> you were right. Nate was cheating on me with... Damn. Alyssa! Damn, Nate, you making us snakes look bad, Brody. <laughs> oh. What? All right. Let's all try to stay calm. Maybe we can talk this out. Talk? Oh, how about I talk with my fist? Guys, stop it. I got this. You just missed out on the best thing you'll ever have. Don't ever talk to me again or I'll have both my dads beat you up. <laughs> That's what happens when you get caught up. Did you just call me dad? She did. I didn't even realize that, but yeah, she did. Uh, guys, is something burning? Uh -oh. Let me get that. Well, this was a good story. I'm sad that the mom had to pass like that, but I'm glad to see, you know, the stepdad and the dad, um, you know, work things out, come together as a team at the end of the day. Because at the end of the day, it's about the kids, man. And unfortunately, especially nowadays, bro, parents, adults, they be, they be using kids as weapons now, bro. And like I said, I've been in a lot of situations still going through certain things in my life right now where the kids take the biggest impact in regards to things you feel me but hey man if y'all made it to the end i do greatly greatly appreciate it man smash that like button leave a comment down below and click that bell while you're at it till next time i'm gonna see y'all next time i'm out